Good morning. Welcome to Raw Online. Today's class is anterior triangles of neck, in which first we will discuss about midline structures of the neck. So the competency related to midline structure of neck is to describe the structures in the midline of the neck. Before going to midline, just we have a general outline about the extent of the neck. So the neck is bounded above. This is the anterior triangle of the neck. So this portion, the midline, the median strip, we are going to discuss today. Before going to that, let's see the extent of the neck. So above, it is bounded by the body of the mandible, the lower border of the body of the mandible. So this is symphysis menti the lower border of the body of the mandible, this is angle of the mandible and this is mastoid process. So this is the mastoid process. So this is an upper extent of the neck. Now the lower extent of the neck is, this is suprasternal notch. And then in the side you can see this is the clavicle, the upper border of the clavicle. And then in the midline you have a median plane. This is the median plane. So above it is bounded by lower border of the mandible, line joining the angle of the mandible to the mastoid process. Posteriorly, the superior nuchal line and the external occipital protuberance. Below, it is by the suprasternal notch, clavicle and in the side, acromion process. Then it goes posteriorly, joins with the C7 spine of the vertebra. So, this shows the superior extent and the inferior extent of the neck. In this, we are going to discuss about the anterior median plane or the structures in the midline of the neck. So, anterior median region of the neck is only 2 to 3 centimeter wide strip extending from symphysis menti to the suprasternal notch. So, this is the extent. So, above extent is the symphysis menti and below it is the suprasternal notch. Now, let us see what are the structures encountered in the anterior midline from anterior to posterior. So, first is skin, then underneath the skin, superficial fascia, deeper to it is the deep fascia and later on, there are some deeper structures. Let us see in the next slides. So, these are the structures listed present in the anterior midline. These are the deeper structures in the midlines of the neck. Now, let us see one by one. So, first is symphysis menti. So, this is the symphysis menti. And then the second one in this diagram, let us see. This is the symphysis menti. Number one is the symphysis menti, which is nothing but the meeting point of the two either side of the mandible. Next is the fibrous median raphe. You can see a white line in the middle. It is nothing but the meeting point. This is the second one. So, this is nothing but the meeting point of the mylohyoid muscle on either side. So, this is a tendon of mylohyoid muscle. Then next, the third one is the bone, nothing but body of hyoid bone. And just below the body of the hyoid bone, you can see a membrane which is connecting the 
hyoid bone and the upper border of the thyroid cartilage that is the thyrohyoid membrane so this is a membrane which connects the upper border of the thyroid cartilage and the upper border of the hyoid bone and there is a bursa between the hyoid bone and the thyrohyoid membrane that is the subhyoid bursa and the next prominent structure in the midline just below the thyrohyoid membrane is the upper border of the thyroid cartilage so this is the upper border of the thyroid cartilage that there is two lamina in the thyroid cartilage which beats in the middle and creates an elevation so this elevation is called laryngeal prominence or adams apple so the number 5 is the angle of thyroid cartilage where the two lamina meet and then below is the thyroid body of the thyroid cartilage 6 and 7 is an another membrane which is thicken in the middle part connects the cartilage below that is the cricoid cartilage c represent the cricoid cartilage so it connects the upper border of the cricoid cartilage and the lower border of the thyroid cartilage so the thicken part in the midline is called the cricko thyroid ligament median cricko thyroid ligament so that is the median cricko thyroid ligament and the next cartilage below represented as c is the cricoid cartilage it is a ring shaped cartilage it is located at the level of c6 vertebra then just below that you can see a gland this gland is the thyroid gland so the thyroid gland the middle portion of the thyroid gland is the meeting point of two lobes of the thyroid gland called as isthmus of thyroid gland so isthmus of thyroid gland covers the second third and the fourth tracheal ring just below the thyroid gland you can see the rings of cartilage they are nothing but tracheal rings and then at the end at the lower end you can see a bone this is the suprasternal notch so in addition to this there are some other structures i'll discuss about it later